Hey folks, welcome back to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. Today we have something very exciting. Two boxes of cards. I've been waiting and bought this a while back, I would say within the last couple weeks or so. Uh, just haven't had time to open it. Uh, went to a garage sale in Ohio. I'm from Ohio and uh, we have estate sales, we have auctions, we have all of those kind of things here. Uh, garage sales are my favorite though. It's where people just throw up tables in their garage and they sell it. Now this particular garage sale that I went to, it had a lot of different cards. Some of them I was not really interested in. I'm going to start opening this while I, while we, I talk to you. Um, but based on the other things in the, uh, at the garage sale, I thought, well, this is probably worth, maybe worth the money. I don't know. I bought I bought these kind of deals before. They're kind of like pig in the poke. Some work out, some don't. So I wanted to share this video with you. I have not looked to see what's inside. I will tell you though, the white box below here is a lot of, it looks like from what I can see on the bottom, and I'll show you in a minute, there's a lot of cards that are in sleeves. Um, this was a collection, someone's collection. I didn't really ask a whole lot of questions. It was kind of a rainy day. And it was, I was sort of in a rush. You can see all of the stuff on the top of this box. And of course you can see in the side, but I really couldn't tell a whole lot from what was going on there. But I thought for a hundred bucks, it's probably worth, worth a chance here. So uh, I've done a couple different videos like this. I'll show you, this is just some type of about basketball ball collecting, nothing special see what these are. Can get this positioned here a little bit better. All right, we've got some stuff there. This looks like a Dan Marino on the top. Get this out and see what we have. Well, not the way you want to keep cards. Nothing special here. Now, these look like a lot of commons. I always wear gloves. I don't I don't really like the blue gloves, but I always wear gloves when I touch cards because I know, um, hey, what's that? Oh, well, that's an older photo. That's pretty cool. DiMaggio and McCarthy. All right, well, I don't know a whole lot about that, but probably not super valuable. It could be a print. I don't know. It's got some tape on it, but we'll set that back there. That could be a good one. Um, don't usually take these cards out like this. They just, these look like the puzzle pieces from old Don Russ. Nothing special there. This looks like a jacket day, maybe an, an autograph. I'm not sure who that is, but we have an autograph. I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time on these. I'm just going to stick them back in. They look to be just puzzle pieces. Nothing that important. Stickers. I'm sure these have some value, but it's not looking so good so far. <laughs> All right, let's see what these are. These are by Upper Deck. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen these before, but that doesn't mean anything. This is Sal Bando. Okay, these are these are probably like repeats of older players. Yeah. You know, Honus Wagner, that kind of stuff. These are newer reproductions, nothing that important. So we'll just kind of move this out of the way. We'll go back to this stuff. I'm going to pull these out, though, before they get buried. These might be pretty decent. These are puzzle pieces. I try to be very careful with all of the cards and how I handle them. I'm sorry here. i got to clean this mess up. Okay, we're all cleaned up. We're ready to go. So in the first box, this looks like it's really our only hope. So we've got a Dan Marino. Yeah, 
there's another Dan Marino. Marino. There's a Montana. Another Joe Montana. That's just an unusual case. I thought they were sticking together, but there's actually a ridge on the back of that. Montana, Montana. Put these over. Dan Marino. Howie Long, I like that guy. Another Marino. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. These are older years. This is this is probably a newer card, I'm guessing. Another Marino and a Joe Montana. Okay, so I paid a hundred bucks for all of this. First box is kind of just average stuff, nothing really that special. The gloves make it a little bit harder to handle the cards, but in the long run, I think we'll be better off not having fingerprints all over them. Okay, we kind of get this tape out of our way. This is what I was talking about underneath. I don't know how well you can see it, but on the bottom, you can see that those are card protectors. Maybe this will be a good box. Okay, so here we go. Kind of open these first and see what we have. Albert Bell, Smoltz. I won't say every name. We'll just run through some of these and see what they look like. Frank Thomas, not a rookie year. Barry Bonds, Chipper Jones, Albert Bell. And as I go through these, if you see anything that looks good, feel free to comment and let me know. Piazza. Kenny Lofton from the Indians, now the Guardians. Roger Clemens. Okay. All right, nothing really that great, I don't think, there. Okay, these are rookies. Looks like there's a lot of duplicates. I don't recognize anybody that really turned out here so far. No. Okay. We'll keep on going. In deals like this, I look to find, I mean, it it's hard with these, you know, 50 cent to $3 cards. There's a Tony Gwynn. A few Tony Gwynns together. Um, Part of my business, we we have a store. Um, although we do uh, we do a lot of cards and that kind of stuff. We're not really a card shop. We're more um, I'm more of like a gold and silver bullion dealer. Uh, but cards are my hobby. Of course, probably like most of you that watch this, it's where I started when I was ten years old. I love baseball cards. Going to the store and trying to find. Hey you now. Oh, you know what I think, though? These are, yeah, so there's there's a Jackie Robinson, but these are the remakes. So um, I'll kind of show you on the back here. Uh, they don't put an exact date on it, but, yeah, these are nice cards, like refractors. Uh, kind of remakes of the old stuff. Yeah, those are actually probably halfway decent, though. These are all remakes, not, not originals. 
I wish they were original. The hundred bucks would have really paid off. Oh, nice refractors though. So those will have some value. So what I look at when I when I do Alex Rodriguez there, uh, when I do a buy like this, in my own mind, I kind of go through and I say, okay, if this was my stuff, is this how I would sell it? And it's complicated because I can understand you just want to clear the closet out and let's just get it out of the way and let's be done with it. That makes a lot of sense to me. But then there's always the chance that, you know, something decent could happen or come up. Okay, don't know this person. So it's really hard to tell. Um, as you go through these, I've had boxes like this that are good, and I've had boxes that are just terribly disappointing. Uh, these are newer cards, though, so far. Um, the lady did tell me, though, that there were older cards in here. Um, who knows, you know, when you talk to people. Okay, hold on, there's one. Okay, that's not that's not Namus rookie, but that definitely is either a second or third year. I'm guessing. Let's look at the condition. Um, some wear on the corners, a little bit on the top. Centering is a little bit off, but not bad. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that was worth a hundred bucks. This box now, and we still have quite a bit to go. But wow. Okay, that's that's definitely a good start. I don't know the value of that right offhand, but uh, definitely when I'm done with this video, I'll be taking a look at that. Um, okay, more older or newer stuff. They've made so many cards, it's hard to keep up with the make and the model of everything. Some of these are decent. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is his rookie card. So we got several rookie cards in a row, 24. I always liked him. I don't know that he's very valuable. I'm trying to go as slow as I can, but still keep this all at a good pace so that we're not falling behind. Something I could mix them up. Turn them over. Wait, hold on. Let me see if that's a fake one or not. No, that one's real. Hang on one second. Okay, I haven't seen this card in a while. Rival All Stars Mantle and Boyer. Well, that's fairly nice. Uh, rounded corner there. That's not too bad. Overall, I'm going to guess that probably would grade it like a three, 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 four, something like that. I know PSA now is doing half grades. Definitely has a stain on the back. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say this was a winning box. Um, so far, these are the finds. And now I'm kind of feeling bad for them that they sold this box at that price. Although I got to tell you, I've been to auctions and just recently I went to an auction. And they had a bunch of train stuff and all kinds of what I thought was really, really good stuff. And it seemed like once you got past $30 a box, people quit bidding. And, and I kept bidding. I'm like, well, I think that's, I think it's worth a lot more than $30 a box. But it, you know, it just makes, I think there's just certain mindsets when you get to different sales, auctions, and that kind of stuff that people just really don't want to pay a whole lot. And then after I bought all of this stuff, I had four different people come up and ask if they could buy stuff from me that they were bidding on against me. And I sold, I did sell some of it, but it's just it was silly. I was thinking, well, why didn't you just buy it when you could have? All right, some of these are kind of sticking together. These all look like newer cards. Not really sure what the organizing technique was here where 
two older cards popped into older or newer cards, but yeah, this is all newer stuff here. Well, it still gives me hope. We got a lot more to do. I hope we can find something good. There's a far. Lofton. And I should tell you too, uh, the name of my business is Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. Uh, we do a lot of wax packs, unopened packs. I have a lot of that kind of stuff. So if you're ever interested in buying or selling, I do both. Uh, but as a hobby, I go to garage sales and I buy things like this to see what I can find. Okay, there's a David Justice rookie card. Don't think it's worth a whole lot, but we got it. I specialize more in the older cards, like a lot of the uh, Cracker Jack, Gaudi, some of the older things like that. The newer stuff is just so complicated anymore, and I see these refractors and different limited edition things that come out, and I hope they're gonna be worth something. Uh, to give you a good story, I'm an investor as well as a collector, and I kind of view them both the same way. And I decided the other day that I wanted to buy a Tiger Woods rookie card. And I thought, I start looking online and I'm thinking, well, can't be, can't be cheap, right? Like it's gotta be expensive, that guy's pretty good. So I started looking and I, I'm saying 300, 350, $400. And I thought, well, that's awfully cheap. So then I went to the, there's Tony Gwynn, went to the PSA site and looked up the card, his rookie card. And there are 11,500 of them. And I'm thinking 11,500, that's in, that's in PSA 10, by the way. Not, not just there's 11,500 cards. There's 11,500 PSA 10s. And I thought, well, that's not a good investment. So I kind of cut bait on that and decided that's not what I'm doing. Okay, let's see here. We've got Thomas Sandberg. Oh, those are nice cards. Pinnacle. Trammel. Uh, not again, not real valuable card. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Look at this. That's a Joe Montana rookie. That is definitely Montana rookie. Let me just double check that. Uh, I thought that was his rookie. I'm sorry. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's his second year card. I'm not sure at this point. Uh, but either way, that's an expensive card. I know that. It's off-center. You see this side is has a thicker border than this side does. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure this is his rookie card. If it's not, I guess it's not. But um, They show two years here, which I'm not really sure about. Unless they didn't make his card in 79. But I think that's a Joe Montana rookie. And that just upped the ante on this box because this card I know is worth some money for sure. Huh. Okay, so these are our three big cards so far. I'll show you that. This is all of the junk. Well, I shouldn't say junk. This is all of the lower value stuff, but it's also very hard stuff to sell. A lot of times what I'll do is just Put a bunch of it together and either put it on eBay or I'll see if I can trade uh, to dealers that, you know, can utilize that kind of stuff. Um, okay, again, we're back to all new stuff now. I'm pretty sure that's a Montana rookie, though. 
That's what I've always known as the Montana Rookie. It just messes me up why there's two dates on the back. If any of you have any answers on that, please let me know. I try to be very educated, but again, these videos are not really about, I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just showing you what I bought, and it's more of an education about collecting. And collecting, to me, comes down to two things. It's really buying it, buying what you're collecting the right way, and secondly, is selling it. If you don't take the time to figure out a way to sell it for the most amount of money, then you end up with what we have here. So whoever this was for 100 bucks gave up those the cards you're looking at and i'm not sure of this but i'm pretty sure of this i'm sure that any two of these cards for sure are worth a 100 bucks and probably more than that uh, but then you know we have a bulk run of just a lot of maybe dollar cards or two dollar cards and i'm sure in here there's there are some that are worth more than that but by the time you take the time to find a buyer and all that, or you go set up at a show, that's a lot of work. It's a long day. Uh, you Sometimes you're just better off to just put it all online and sell it in groups. Cal Ripken Jr. Piazza again. Albert Bell. I'm near the Cleveland area, so I remember Albert. He was a great player. Not without his troubles, but he was a great player. Okay, so we are now moving to the last part of this. And we're hoping for something good here. McGuire. More of these prospects. These look to be older cards, so these would be, these would be like 97. So these players, more than likely, if they're still playing, they're fairly old. Barry Bonds. Well, that could be a good one there. Okay, so now we're on the last rack here. Hopefully something good is going to happen. Okay, Al Martin. Oops. Alex Beans for McGriff. Canseco. Yeah, that's an older card. Greg Maddox, he was a great pitcher. I liked him a lot. Sandberg. Got a few Sandbergs. Chipper Jones. Okay. Look at that. Okay, that's a Walter Payton rookie. Now, it... Yeah, that's definitely his rookie. See how that is right there? Uh, and you know, I have another one of these. This is, the, I forgot about this card. This is one of the few cards they list his, uh, his height is 5'10 and a half. And I've never seen that on a card before. I see like 5'10, 5'11, but not 5'10 and a half. Okay, that's a pretty good one, but let's look and see. Corner, both, both corners have some issues. Fairly centered, though. Uh. Just guessing uh, off the top of my head, but it's a pretty good guess off center on the back. I'm going to guess that card's going to grade maybe at a three or four again. So I don't think any of these. Well, so here's four. We got four cards. Um, oh, man. I'll tell you, for 100 bucks, that was a great investment. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what these are. I'm, I may have to may have to go back and let them know. Just don't don't do this. Get figure out when you're selling your cards what they're worth. 
talk to a reputable dealer. Don't just throw them in a box and do this. Uh, although I have to say it is fun. Okay, so that's what we have. And that's that's probably the I gotta say that's probably the best card of the bunch, but I don't know about that Namath. I'm not sure. Let's see. So this one is probably yeah, second. That's the second or third year. And we get the Peyton. Okay, can't wait. As soon as this video is done, I'm going to check and see. I think this is his rookie, though. I'm pretty sure of that. Even though it shows two years on the back. I think that's what they consider to be his rookie card. And then I have this mantle. It's an all-star card. These usually aren't real valuable. This one... Yeah, it has, it has a little bit of wear to it. Yeah, some rounded corners. Okay, so I guess we can break it all down to this. For 100 bucks. we have those four cards, which are exceptional. That's the best 100 bucks I've spent in a long time. But, again, if you're a collector, I'll kind of show you all the different stuff on the table here. Make sure you have an exit plan. That's the main thing. Make sure you're talking to somebody... And your kids, your wife, whoever it may be, and make sure that they have a plan to get rid of this so that you just don't end up in this situation where everything gets thrown in a box and gets sold for a hundred bucks. Um, man, I can't even believe this. These are great cards. I'm not feeling that great for the people that sold it. I'm going to get these evaluated and figure out. Hopefully I can find them again. I was at so many garage sales. I think I remember where it came from. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that. Very exciting. I'm going to do some other openings. Um, we're going to start doing some uh, wax box openings that I have. I was able to acquire at some other sales, 80 through 84 uh, uh, tops football. Uh, I was able to get a nice box of older Fleer football. So there'll be a lot coming along. Stay tuned to my channel. Hopefully you'll hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. That's Todd Bosley's world-famous YouTube channel. Again, I'm Todd. This is Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. That's the name of my business. And we deal in everything and anything um, that's valuable or collectible. Um, if you have any questions or if you're interested in any of the cards that I've shown, um, everything that I have is for sale. 330-323-9775. Uh, Again, it's 330-323-9775. Give me a call or text and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.